Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection, and I'm your host, Eben, and we're back with Alex, and we're with his 2000 Four Winds Fun Ship. This is the uh, 7 4 liter Volvo Penta engine. We're going to be doing the oil change with the 1040, and this is the synthetic. And well, we're going to start by pumping her out. So if you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All you do is just tap the button right here, and then you'll see the notification bell. Tap that and that way you'll be notified when we post a new video later. All right, the first thing we can do is a engine flush. However, we're not able to because we don't have a water tap, but no big deal. If you have one, you can do that on your boat. You put the engine flush in and you idle it for 15 minutes. And what this does is it gets all the sticky uh, carbon off the lifters. It helps with the valves, get stuff off the rings. And it's a very, very thin detergent, thins out the oil. So the oil will actually come out a lot quicker and you just idle it for 10 to 15 minutes. So if you have a car or a boat engine, definitely recommend it to do it. Uh, today, we're just gonna suck her out, fill her up, and it'll be uh, time to see how she runs. We'll have a follow-up video. So definitely uh, subscribe. All right, this is our first oil change sitting down. So we got a, a West Marine uh, pump here. And this thing uh, holds, uh, what is it, about seven quarts little hand pump uh, West Marine so we're just gonna keep pumping we got the seal here there's a rubber gasket in there so it seals perfectly and then this hose is pretty thick and we'll just keep pumping her up and then we can relieve the pressure with this little valve here and that's so you don't overflow so you don't want to overflow it uh, so we're just gonna bring her up to here we'll dump her out come back up and uh, finish her up She goes. All right, we got a gargler. So that's how you know she's completely uh, empty. Pretty cool the way the uh, tube goes all the way down to the bottom of the oil pan. So it looks like we got about, it's looking like about what, three quarts or two quarts there, something like that? Was it, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, take 6.9. So what do we take out, about seven, eight, nine? Yeah, nine yeah. quarts, yeah. Looks like we had about nine quarts out. So we'll be putting in, uh, we could probably put in like eight and a half motor up, see how she looks and check our dipstick, let it drain down and we're good to go. Alex is down there wrangling an alligator and he's getting the oil filter. Just pull towards you, I think. I think that's loosening, I think. Is it? That should be, yeah. So we got the good oil filter wrench and uh, it's 100 and about eight degrees here today. So we're both, I'm crying with the heat. So uh, yeah, I think, yeah, go that way. Yeah, that way you should get it. You should get some good leverage and go towards the bottom with all the flat spots. Right there. Yep. You just can't get down because all this. Yep. See if you can shove. Yeah, and then pull towards you. Wow, is that a stickler? <laughs> That's a fucking <in> stickler. <laughs> there she. All right, you're cracking her. Yep. Is it? You're getting a little movement. Yep. Yep. You can feel like it. <laughs> so it's been on there for I think two years, two three years. So it's definitely gonna be a stickler. We're gonna wrangle this alligator together. We'll be back. All right, we got done wrangling the alligator. We got her. Alex got her off here. And uh, it was a killer. It's like, uh, you just gotta wear it out. And he's in there in the teeter-totter. He's hanging in there. About 107 degrees out, 106. And we're just making it. We're getting it through. So we're gonna lube up our fresh filter over there in the corner. We're gonna be putting in our really, really good uh, 1040, which is a great uh, intermediate weight without being like a race engine, a 50 weight. And then it's not a super gas mileage oil like a 30 weight. So this is right in between tons of protection. And this is actually the original viscosity AMS oil came out with back in 1972. The API certified was basically a 40 weight. 
and uh, that's the very first in synthetics and you'll see all the API certifications. This meets and exceeds all those specification and it will not void uh, any of your warranties. And uh, this is gonna be good for uh, about double your OEMs. Uh, the biggest, weakest link will be the filter. So we're gonna lube up our filter if you wanna grab that. And you can go ahead and uh, we'll pour in a little liquid gold on her. We'll crack her loose here. And uh, we'll start filling her up and you okay, Alex? Yep. All right. I don't want you to get heat stroke, yeah. So we cracked open a nice fresh quart of liquid gold. We'll go ahead and just pour her in here. Oh yeah, look at that go. So we're gonna fill her about three quarters. Get the threads good. Oh, there she blows. Now she'll settle down and it'll soak into the medium. And then, uh, Alex, if you want to delicately finger those threads without cutting yourself, and you can also wet the rubbers, okay. just watch how much overflows. So just take your fingers, hit all the rubber O-ring. Yep, get all that nice and light. Get all around the sides. And look how delicate he is with one finger. That's good. It's beautiful. And now she's ready to thread on. And if you spill a little bit, it's okay. It's no big deal. If it ain't messy, it ain't fun. And if it ain't fun, it ain't messy. <laughs> So we're going to thread her back up. We'll torque her down to about, uh, about 15, 20 pounds of torque, just hand tight. And uh, that's it. And we'll be back to uh, change that filter. The OEM requirement uh, recommended on that filter is about 50 hours. So we'll probably change that filter at about 30 hours because all the carbon is actually going to get loosened up from the really good uh, synthetic with the detergents in this and it's gonna get all that crap around the rings out and it's gonna end up in the filter. So usually I definitely recommend um, flushing it, but since we don't have a water tap, no point in overheating nothing. So uh, we'll fill her up here and we'll motor her up. And this is the filter we used. Amsoil doesn't make a filter for this engine. And uh, the good thing is it's very close efficiency to the Amsoil filter. The Amsoil filter is uh, 98.7. This is 97, so still a very good filter. And uh, the OEM recommendation, you just change the filter at uh, 50 hours of operation. All right, Alex has the honors of pouring in the liquid gold. Here it goes. That's the other portion of the quart we put filled the filter with. Ah, the satisfaction of changing your motor oil. It's better than painting the Mona Lisa. Give you your second quart. There it goes. Boom. So this is your first time, Alex, right? Doing your oil change? Yep. So if, if we had the, the pump here and we had all the tools, how hard is it, would you say? Uh, maybe a three out of 10. So pretty darn easy. <laughs> awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and put in about seven and a half quarts. This holds eight quarts. We're gonna put in seven and a half, motor her up, make sure she looks good. We'll check her dipstick and we'll be good to go. And when Alex gets out in the water, he's gonna give the uh, quick shot a try. This is the fuel additive for your ATVs, UTVs, uh, dirt bikes, really, really good. This cleans the injectors, cleans uh, carburetors as well. It's also a stabilizer. And uh, this is about the best you're gonna get for keeping all that clean also cleans the uh, combustion chambers gets all the carbon deposits off and uh so that'll be used later so right now i guess it's time to motor her up let's do it here we go let's see what she sounds like
And remember, every last Saturday of the month, we have Eben's giveaway. To be entered, all you do is leave a comment within the first 30 minutes of this video. Go ahead and text me your name and I'll have an opportunity to pick anyone within that first 30 minutes. I randomly select people and that's how you get in the giveaway. If you're new to the channel, definitely subscribe. All you do is just tap the button right here and then you'll see the notification bell, tap that, and that way you'll be notified when we post a new video later. All right, so we put in one and a quarter quarts of gear lube and uh, we tightened it down fully to check the dipstick. You tighten it all the way down, you back it off. The seal looked good, everything looks good. So uh, we'll get some feedback from Alex later. We're gonna start her up again, check the oil. Oil looks great. And it really meant a lot for you to be a part of the channel, Alex. Thank you. Thanks for being a huge part of the channel. You're a good man, good man. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and throw some other uh, vehicles that are similar to this. We got the motorcycles, we'll throw that up at the top. And down here at the bottom, we'll throw the playlist to some engine flushes. So you can always flush this and uh, that pretty much sums it up. We'll see you back next time on synthetic oil protection. Cheers to protection, protection, protection.